大家好，我是 Oliver Branch Down. So, what are probiotics exactly? You probably have heard this many times.、Um, what's the difference between probiotics and prebiotics? What do they do for you, and do you really need to take them? In this video, I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about probiotics, so you can make the right choices. So, probiotics, what they really just are, are bugs that are in living in your gut. Bugs like Microorganisms, bacteria that actually live in your large and small intestines. This is also known as your gut flora, or your microbiota, or your microbiome. They all kind of mean the same thing, and that's because in your gut, your large intestine mainly, there lives a lot of microorganisms, all kinds. Some are good for you, and some are actually bad for you. I'm going to talk to you guys about the good first, and I'll talk a little bit about the bad and how they interrelate. So one of the good things about your good bacteria is that it actually helps you to digest food. Some food items,、um, like fiber, you can't actually digest it, and so your good bacteria it actually feeds on that. The byproduct, unfortunately, is gas, which is why if you eat a lot of foods with fiber, you'll pass gas, and usually in the form of a fart. So your good bacteria actually helps to feed you, and you in return actually help feed it by choosing what you eat. So actually, you can curate your microbiota, the the type of bacteria that's in your gut. By simply choosing what type of foods you eat, you look at certain populations in the world, like the Japanese. They eat a lot of seaweed, and so if you look into their、uh, the population and their gut flora, you'll find that their type is actually very specific, which is very different from,、uh, say, Germans with a very different microbiota. Your gut flora actually has a very powerful effect on your immune system. So any autoimmune diseases. For example, allergies, seasonal allergies, or eczema when you have skin skin conditions, or even leaky gut syndrome. There are all autoimmune、uh, diseases, and that can be heavily influenced by your gut flora. Let me explain a little bit about the physiology about that, so they have a better understanding and connection between probiotics and just your overall quality of, quality of life. Your gut flora also helps to produce certain vitamins and hormones, like vitamin B and K, and can help regulate your fat accumulation. It can also help reduce anxiety, which is experienced in the brain, and it does this because your gut is connected to the brain via the vagus nerve. And I'll go into detail into what that is all about in future videos. But understand that there is a connection, a nerve, that connects the brain to the gut, and it can send messages. Via the nervous system, and by doing so, you can actually tell the brain to calm down, reduce stress and anxiety. Now, to feed your good bacteria, to help them grow,、uh, you want to eat more foods like fermented、uh, dairy products, yogurt,、uh, unsweetened, of course,、um, cottage cheese, uh, kefir, uh, quark,、uh, lassi. These are all milk products that's been fermented. Also very good for your gut, or you can look into、uh, vegetables like cabbage, like kimchi or sauerkraut if you're in Germany.、Um, lots of、uh, good tomatoes or turnips or carrots. You can ferment any of these cucumbers, which are pickles. These are all very good for your gut. Or you can go even to soy products like bean curd, tofu, tempa, nat natto. These are all really good. Again, fermented foods. It helps your gut. Uh, and then in turn they start to grow and multiply and take over your gut flora. So when you have more and more good bacteria, they will actually start fighting and competing for resources in your gut against the bad bacteria, and this is good for you. And it does this by producing the byproduct of、uh, of this certain type of good bacteria called lactobacillus, and you'll see it in a lot of the supplements. It, they produce lactic acid, which lowers the pH, which makes the environment in your gut more acidic, and actually harms the bad bacteria, which is good because you don't want them to grow. Bad bacteria, if they were to grow,、um, and they will grow if they if you start feeding it the the types of foods that they like, such as sugar. They actually really like sugar, and by eating a lot of sweets, you're helping the bad bacteria grow and to beat out the the good bacteria. And this is not good because if they start to grow and multiply, they can actually affect your immune system once again, making you sick. What they also do is they feed on the the lining of your intestines, the lining, the walls, the edges. They'll start to eat at that. If you don't give it what it wants, it starts to invade. And when it starts eating at the walls of your intestines, it can cause holes in your intestines. Now, if you think about this, this is actually very dangerous because your digestive tract, your GI tract, gastrointestinal tract, it's one single tube from your mouth. Down your throat, stomach, down through your intestines, and then out through your bum. That's one closed system. That's that's why it's called the GI tract, and it's very protective because anything you you eat, it cannot leak into your bloodstream. 
If it does, then it's very bad. Your body's not used to having food items in your bloodstream. But that's exactly what happens in leaky gut syndrome. That's the term, leaky gut. Your gut's leaking, the food item starts to seep into your bloodstream, and that causes your immune system to identify immediately as something that's not supposed to be there. When it does this, it starts to release a lot of antibodies and antigens to, to identify it, to, to destroy it, essentially. And it does this by causing a big storm. And this storm causes allergies to happen. That's why you can get eczema or other allergies, or you can feel sick, you can get constipation, you can get upset stomach, and all these conditions can happen because you're now your immune system is causing a lot of the issues because certain things, particles, are not supposed to be in your bloodstream. So personally, guys, I'm actually a huge fan of fermented foods. I actually quite enjoy eating them. And especially here in China, there's a lot of great fermented food options. Like in Sichuan, they're really the masters of, of fermented foods. So I do highly recommend you start to acquire a taste for fermented foods. If you look at any traditional countries and uh, ethnicities, they all have their own version of fermented foods because it's such a great way to preserve food since um, vegetables are not grown uh, all year round. They actually have to preserve it. And in doing so, we've actually adopted, evolved to, to live off them quite well since they're such, such a nutritional uh, superpower for us. So I do recommend that you guys start to eat more and more fermented vegetables and you can even make it at home yourself. There are lots of videos online that can teach you how to do that. Last three points that are quite kind of miscellaneous but important is that prebiotics is actually what you feed the probiotics. So the probiotics are the bugs, the bacteria. Prebiotics is what you feed it. So that usually is in the form of vegetables um, but also uh, fiber is, is food for your bacteria. Uh, the other thing you should be aware of is that probiotic supplements, a lot of them, the labels are unreliable. So if you do just want the probiotics, but you want to take it in the pill form, the capsule form, just make sure you buy them from a reputable source. Uh, lastly, be careful about taking broad spectrum antibiotics. Antibiotics meaning that they kill bacteria and that kills all forms, including good and bad bacteria. And so if you do take these antibiotics, you might be starting from uh, a very limited number of good bacteria in your gut, which can cause more problems. I'd also like to thank a lot our, our sponsor for this video, and this is uh, Athletic Greens. This is a multi-nutrient supplement that I take every morning, and the reason why I take it is because it actually is very good in all the micronutrients that I have mentioned in the past, including a lot of the vitamins and minerals that I mentioned. It's not really high in sugar, nor is it high in protein, because it's not a protein supplement, and it doesn't have any added sugars. It does have stevia, however, which is uh, from a plant extract, which gives it a little bit of a sweet flavor, um, and it hasn't shown to have any uh, negative effects to your metabolism. Um, it has a lot of great uh, superfood extracts, like ashwagandha. It has very strong levels of beetroot powder as well. Also, I really like it, the fact that it has uh, probiotics in it, which is uh, what I mentioned earlier, uh, specifically uh, lactobacillus as well as bifidobacterium, which are the two uh, main bacteria strain, strains that actually really improve your gut flora. So it has all that in one serving. So you'll also get, uh, as part of the gift set, this canister with a metal spoon and this shaker bottle. So I use this all the time. I basically take one scoop, throw it in the shaker bottle, you shake it up, and then you can start drinking it right from the, the bottle. So this is really handy to have. And as an extra thing that you have as, a, as my followers, you get some even extra gifts. So if you're a follower of this channel, then I do recommend that you put in my code Allen because you might get some extra bonuses with this package deal, which is a very good deal. And I do recommend it that you give it a shot. And also, I have been reading your comments. I will be recommending more stuff to you guys to, to look into. It's just that I am a little bit picky on what kind of brands I work with as I, I don't want to just recommend anything. It's usually things that I take myself. Uh, but rest assured, they'll be coming out uh, soon. Just probably not as much as you might be expecting. Um, but stay patient and I will recommend more and more. But most importantly, guys, I want you to know that I'm not a doctor. This is my disclaimer. So I do want you guys to get real medical advice from doctors. This is informational purposes only. So I hope you found that useful, guys. And like always, please leave any questions or comments below and I'll see you next time.